What's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you how to send SMS messages with your Raspberry Pi Pico W and I'll be showing you how to do that end to end with Twilio and MicroPython. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is just go to Twilio.com and make your Twilio account. If you already have one, just sign into it. And then once you're logged into Twilio, you should see all the information you need, such as your account ID, your, your token for your account, and your account um, a phone number to start sending yourself text messages. And you will start off with about $15 of credit, which is more than enough to develop your application and test the, the functionality of your messaging. So what we'll be doing is we'll just be using the Twilio API. And as you can see here, they have a curl command for us that allows us to hit their API with the account SID and other information we need to send an SMS. And the reason we're doing this as opposed to using the external package they have for Python is because unfortunately on the Raspberry Pi Pico W, there's not enough storage to download this external package. And if you try to do that, you'll be met with an error on your Raspberry Pi Pico W. So we have to do it this way with the API. It looks a little complicated if you never dealt with APIs before, but I'll walk you through it in the code and hopefully it'll all make sense by the end of this video. Okay, now walking you through the code, how to do this. The first thing you want to do is import these three packages. You don't have to pip install anything or MicroPython install, whatever for this. You just have to import them because they're built into MicroPython for your Raspberry Pi Pico W, which is nice. You don't have to install anything. And then we're just gonna go through this send SMS function, which is what I define. You can see you have these seven parameters. And the first thing you're going to do is make the internet connection on your Raspberry Pi Pico W, which makes it super easy. So here I just have the, the name of your network and the password. This is other information you need to make an internet connection on your Raspberry Pi Pico W. Once that's said and done, you're using the time library up here to wait for a connection to be made on your uh, internet for the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So the first time you do, you're doing this, it should take some time, maybe a couple seconds to connect to the internet. And once that's done, you should get a confirmation with this if else statement, if you connected or not. If not, it will show a, a runtime error, network connection failed and the code will fail. So this is all just for making an internet connection, which is step one. Uh, so you can hit their API, which is on the internet. So I hope that makes sense. But next, what we'll be doing is we'll be sending the payload to the API that you guys just saw in that web page. And in fact, I'll be linking that web page to this video. So if you uh, need more information on that curl uh, API that you just saw, it'll be in the description below. But what we'll be sending is some headers. And in this headers, it has to be content type application URL encoded. And the reason this has to be content type URL encoded is because if you try to send the information as a JSON, it's not going to accept it. The Twilio API does not accept JSON information. And I tried to do this and I kept getting errors. And it was not until I had this headers here that the, the API was able to read my information, the payload that I was sending it. And the payload we're sending to this API is this data string right here. So we're sending a two string, which is just the recipient phone number. So wherever phone number you wanna to send to, and then we have the from phone number, which is the, the phone number on your Twilio account. And finally, the body, which is just the message you're sending to your user. This can be defined whatever you want. Finally, we just print attempting to send SMS and we're making a post request through the request library to the API for Twilio. And you have to format it like this because that's the, that's the format they accept to accept this uh, information. And we're passing the data as data and also what we're passing is authorization. So you absolutely need this authorization or Twilio will not authorize you to send anything. So imagine this as information you need to like sign on a website. This is exactly what you're doing here. You're passing it in authentication information. And finally, you're passing in how you want the header formatted with the um, form URL encoded. You absolutely need this as well or else the information will not be able to be uh, understood by the Twilio API. Now, finally, once that's attempted to be sent, you'll get a response from Twilio. And if that response is bad, we're just going to print that it was a bad response and try to see why it was a bad response. Otherwise, we want to say success and we want to print the status code, which will, which will hopefully be 200 or less than 300. So let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens. It's attempting to send SMS. Perfect, so if I do check my phone, I should have gotten SMS, and hopefully if you guys run this code as well, you should have gotten the same thing. 
It's really as simple as that. We just use these three packages built in, I'll run through this code, and if you do copy this function in and you have a proper Twilio account set up, you should be set to go. Raspberry Pi, Pico W makes it that easy, and thankfully Twilio has a nice and simple to use curl command. And I hope you guys learned something in this video. It was certainly a pain in the neck for me trying to find a package out there to send SMS messages. I thought you had to download external packages, but thankfully we can use curl commands to not have to download anything external on your Raspberry Pi Pico W and make your IoT applications much more seamless and easy for yourself. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe. And generally, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Stay tuned to the channel. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.